Welcome to English for You. I'm Kat, and I'm Laura. And today we are talking about something with、um, sweets. Ooh, sweets, and maybe a party. Sweets and parties. That、I、sounds like a great. I love those things. Okay, so we're gonna have a party. You're gonna make <laughs> something for me or bake something for me? Um, I don't think so. But we are gonna、oh. talk about something you can make, which is very、Ooh. easy to make, even、mm-hmm. if you're a kid. Uh huh. But we're not gonna tell you how to make <gasps> it. We're gonna tell you why it's important to this one particular、mm. party that we have during、mm-hmm. the year, especially in cultures where they celebrate <gasps>、um, Easter.、Wow. Yeah. So, what are your favorite like breakfast foods or sweets? That's another hint. It's a breakfast I like, food. I like dan bing, but I'm、oh. pretty sure we're not talking about that today, right? I don't know.、Mm. Dan bing might be a type of this thing, right? But、um, it looks I... like what we're talking about,、mm-hmm. but it's kind of different. A little bit. Okay.、Different. So I do actually like traditional Taiwanese breakfast food. Okay.、Oh. What about you? What is your favorite breakfast food? Well, I like Taiwanese breakfast too, but、right? I think when I was growing. Up, of course,、uh-huh. I didn't have Taiwanese <gasps> breakfast. No, because well, my mom would make me <laughs> waffles or maybe、oh, eggs、yum. or something like that. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, that's enough about food. I'm getting very hungry. Yeah. How about we check out today's article? Okay. Reading. The sweet story behind Pancake Day. Every spring, something special happens in New Orleans, Louisiana, U.S. Quiet streets are brought to life by colorful parades, and the air turns sweet with the smell of freshly baked cakes. All the while, the city taps its feet to the rhythm of lively jazz music. This is one of the many celebrations of Mardi Gras. An energetic holiday with centuries of tradition. Mardi Gras, which translates as Fat Tuesday in English, is the last day before Lent, an important period for some Christians. For four weeks, it is traditional for people to give up their favorite luxuries to get closer to God. Historically, that meant Fat Tuesday. Was everyone's last chance to treat themselves before they began this strict religious practice. Today, Mardi Gras is more entertaining than religious. Parade leaders toss colorful beads in gold, purple, and green, the official colors of the festival. Meanwhile, party clubs called crews hold expensive mass balls. Once a chance for people of different social classes to meet. Though its religious meaning may be fading, Mardi Gras continues to be the life and soul of the party. Okay, so today we're actually starting off talking about that party that I was mentioning. So every spring, something special happens in New Orleans, Louisiana, U.S. Wow. Okay, very interesting. Okay. But let's not forget our title first, okay? So, first, we're going to look at the topic of today, which is the sweet story behind Pancake Day,、uh, Mardi Gras. Is Mardi Gras. You,、um, Mardi Gras. Gras without the S. Yeah,、okay. we don't say the S. Okay. So, in the beginning, we saw the topic. In Chinese, we translate it as "Give me a good reason to eat." Pancakes. I'm so ready to eat. Oh, I mean, start reading today's article. Ah,、uh, yeah. You better、okay. hold off on the pancakes because <laughs> we might not get there yet. 所以呢，刚刚有提到啊，这个课文一开始就说，每年的春天，在美国的 New Orleans, Louisiana 州都会发生特别的事情。And what exactly is this something special? Well, it says quiet streets are brought to life by colorful parades,、wow. and the air turns sweet with the、Aww. smell of freshly baked cakes. Mmm, cake. I love cake. But we're talking about the phrase "bring to life"、mm-hmm. here. The quiet streets are brought to life. This can describe anything which goes from dead or quiet <laughs> to lively, bright or loud.、Wow. The streets that are usually quiet on any normal day suddenly become full of color and people and music and a lot of activity. It's like bringing new life to the city. 
Like they're having a party. Yeah. Okay. Bring something to life. 就是使什么变成祥，栩栩如生，或是赋予什么什么生命。Yeah. Just just means to make something very interesting or exciting.、Mm-hmm. For example, she brings history to life with her books. Yeah. Or they are trying to bring their restaurant. Back to life by introducing a new menu. Hmm. Okay. 不过呢，这个片语呢，同样也可以指把某人复活。Okay. So this phrase can also mean to cause someone or something that has died to be begin living again. For example, <gasps> the story is about a mad scientist who tries to bring dead people back to life.、Uh. Okay. <laughs> so we also mentioned colorful parades, 就是色彩鲜艳的花车游行 and the smell of freshly baked cakes. I'm getting so hungry. 就是刚刚烤好的蛋糕的香味。难怪原本安静的街头也会怎么样活络起来哦。I'm feeling excited and I'm so ready to party and pig out. Pig out, yeah. Nice. Okay. So all the while, the city taps its feet. To the rhythm of lively jazz music. Jazz is fun, yeah. Jazz. So、um, here we have our first vocabulary word that is tap. Tap is a verb that means to hit something lightly, like this. You can tap somebody on the shoulder, get their attention, like, "Hey,、uh-huh. Laura, Laura, Laura,、okay. Laura." Okay. <laughs> or maybe tap your fingers on the table when you're feeling worried or impatient. <gasps> And when people hear music,、mm-hmm. you're likely to start moving one of your feet to the beat or tapping it, so it makes a sound on the ground. This even led to one of the world's top dance forms, tap dance, where、oh. you wear special shoes that tap on the ground and make a sound like. Ti tao. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here's an example for you. Mary tapped her fingers on her desk as she waited for her teacher to hand out the exams.、Ooh. Sounds like Mary's kind of nervous. I know.、Mm. Okay, how cool. So, 呢，课文是说，如果呢要 party 的话，当然是不是要少不了 music 音乐，而且还是我个人最喜欢的 jazz music 爵士乐。这里的 all the while 就是整段期间一直怎么样？那刚刚一直提到的 tap。这个动词就是轻拍或者是轻触碰的意思。For example, he was tapping a pencil on the desk. Maybe he was bored. Yeah. Or she tapped her foot to the beat of the music.、Mm-hmm. There's some songs that I think it's very hard not to tap your foot. Okay. And in this sentence, we also have a second vocabulary word. This word is. Rhythm. Rhythm is actually kind of a hard one to spell, so I'm going to spell it for you. R H Y T H M. The second syllable actually has no vowel, so it's a little bit tricky. But rhythm, most broadly speaking, is the pattern of sound. It's when sounds repeat in a regular way, like in music. One, two, three. Four. Most music has a regular pattern of sound we can tap our feet or move our body to in some way, like dancing. We learn how to find the rhythm of a song from early in life. Rhythm can also be the pattern of life. Your sleep rhythm, like what time you go to sleep and wake every, up every day, or the rhythm of work, like how you get into a pattern with doing your work so you can do it faster. Here's another example. The dancers all started moving in time with the rhythm of the song. Rhythm 这个名词就是节奏啦，拍子。OK， 拍子我们可以用 beat 这个字哦。You could talk about the rhythm of the poetry. OK，、mm-hmm. 在朗读诗词是不是要有一个节奏啦 ？Or the rhythm of his breathing. Sounds like dad snoring. OK. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Very regular. Okay.、Mm. Or if you put it in a sentence, you could probably say something like this: The music has a fast or slow or steady rhythm.、Mm-hmm. Okay. 那如果有的人他跳舞啊，是个舞痴，没有律动感的话呢，我们可能会说 He can't dance in rhythm. Or he has no sense of rhythm. That、oh. just means he can't dance at the correct speed to stay with the rhythm of the music. I've met people like this.、Okay. They have no sense of、I'm、rhythm. I'm kind of like that. So、oh. don't be mean. Okay. I won't. <laughs> okay. Now we often talk about R and B. Actually, it stands for rhythm and blues. 就是节奏蓝调 I like it. Yeah, I like R and B too. All right. So going on with the article. This is one of the many celebrations of Mardi Gras, an energetic holiday with centuries of tradition. So Mardi Gras is the name of this holiday、mm-hmm. that we're talking about today. It's a big party, and here we have another vocabulary word: energetic. 
Energetic is an adjective that when you feel like this, it means you have lots of energy. You can do a lot of things, maybe you can run, talk fast, dance, you feel pretty great. This holiday is the same way. It has lots of things for people to do and see. There's always something exciting happening. Mm. It's full of energy, so it's energetic. A similar one is energizing, energizing, oh. which means something gives you energy. Oh. So energetic is having energy, energizing is giving energy. Mm. Here's another example. The atmosphere at the music festival was very energetic, with many people dancing for hours in front of the stage. Wow, yeah. okay. Energetic. Sound, I often think of kids when I, think,、oh, when I yes, say this word. Okay,、yes. they're always energetic. <laughs> 嗯，大家有没有觉得小朋友总是精力充沛的呢？所以 energetic 这个 energetic 这个形容词就是充满活力的，精力充沛的。Now, if you're feeling energetic. Maybe you could go out for a run. Yeah. Okay. And、definitely. I think Cat has an energetic personality. Oh, that's nice of you to、Aww. say. But I feel tired a lot, <laughs> so I'm not that energetic. Okay. <laughs> All right. So going on, we talk more about Mardi Gras,、okay. which translates as Fat Tuesday in、mm. English. It's the last day before Lent, an important period for some Christians. Okay, so we have this vocabulary word here. Translate. Translate is a verb that is a very important one for people learning another language.、Mm -hmm. It means to take something from one language to another. You've probably been asked to translate things from Chinese to English before. Mardi Gras is French,、mm. and so it translates or is translated to English as Fat Tuesday. So the noun of translate is translation. You can、uh. make a translation of something, or translate from Chinese to English. Translate something means take something from one language to another. Translate as something is、uh -huh. say what it means in your language. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. so what about give us an example? Okay, the Latin phrase carpe diem. Translates as seize, seize the, day the day in English, yeah,、mm. and we actually say this a lot. Right, translate <laughs> 其实就是翻译吧。我们在学语言一定要学这个字，好不好？它是一个动词。比方像是 I can read German. Will you translate this sentence for me? But I hope you're asking the right person. Right, this person I don't speak German. German. <laughs> Or I speak a little bit of French, although、oh. I didn't pronounce the gra right. Okay, that's okay. The French word bonjour translates as hello in English. Right, right? bonjour. Everybody should know this, and、mm -hmm. I can actually translate Japanese into English. This is、can、very、you? true. I can. Really, me yeah, too. But don't ask、cool. me a difficult word. Okay.、Uh -huh. And sometimes when you're reading books or stuff like that, actually sometimes some books can be translated into a lot of languages. Yeah. Famous books, especially. So, for this Christian Church, this Lent Festival, which is called Ash Wednesday, is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on the Old Testament Lent Festival, which is based on For four weeks, it is traditional for people to give up their favorite luxuries to get closer to God. Oh, uh huh. So it's actually kind of the beginning of a more serious,、um, not festival, more like、okay. religious holiday. So give up here is a phrase that means you want that thing, but you force yourself to not have it anymore. If I give up sugar, it means maybe I'd still like to have some sugar. <laughs> I like sweet things, but、mm -hmm. I choose to not eat it because I want to be healthier. I want to be thinner, something like that. So an example would be I gave up video games for Lent. Oh, yeah. Okay. What about luxuries?、Hmm, they are things you don't need, but. They make life a lot easier, <laughs> more pleasant if you have them. That's why they're easy to give up. A、wow. big bathtub, maybe somebody who cleans your house, or high-quality food, or expensive clothes.、Aww. I know Laura loves clothes shopping. Is that <laughs> your luxury? I do, but I actually <laughs> buy cheap clothes. I buy、oh, them online. That's good. But I、okay. buy too much. <laughs>、mm, so maybe it could still be kind of a luxury. And Lent, as Laura explained earlier,、uh -huh. is a Christian holiday that goes、right. on for. 
forty days.、Mm. Yeah, forty days, and it's supposed to symbolize when Jesus was in the desert and being tempted by the devil, who was <gasps> going to try and make him do something bad. But because he's Jesus, he didn't do anything bad. But it ends on Easter when Jesus was supposed to have come back from the dead, and so it's a big, big holiday in the Christian、wow. religion. Yeah. OK， 大家应该已经知道，充分了解 give up something 就是放弃。你真的很想要一个东西，但是你却不得已不放弃哦。For example， she gave up her job and started writing poetry. Or he gave up his seat to an elderly woman. So basically, he got out of his seat so that an elderly woman could sit there. Now, to give up something can also mean to stop trying to do something. For example, he spent half an hour looking for the keys, but eventually gave up and went home. Okay, 有时候找东西其实蛮挫折，所以就直接放弃了。Okay, so. Historically, that meant Fat Tuesday was everyone's last chance to treat themselves before they began this strict religious practice. Wow! So since、uh, Lent is a very serious holiday,、right. Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras is a time to party before the fat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Get fat, eat too much, <laughs> drink too much, do whatever you want. Nice. Uh、mm-hmm. huh. But historically is an adverb that we see in this sentence that means like in history, but maybe not now. Historically, could mean that this is how we know something was in the past. It、right. used to be a regular thing at a different time,、mm. but now it's not something we do anymore in our current culture. So an example, an example of this, which is a real example, is historically a bride would bring a large amount of money or things to her new husband's house、wow. when they got married. And now she doesn't have to because now both the woman and the man work, so they don't have to bring a lot of money to get their family started. Ah, okay. So, 原来以往呢，根据历史上呢，人们会在这一天大吃大喝，狂欢一番，因为为了要进入大灾期做准备。嗯，难怪 Fat Tuesday， 因为这时候应该会吃蛮多，就会变 fat， 是不是呢 ？Historically， 我们来看一下这个副词哦，就是在历史上或者在过去长期以来怎么样怎么样。比方我们常提到 historically significant events， 哇，在历史上非常重大。Or historically, in the past, okay, the school has had a strong sports program,、mm-hmm. so that's really good. Okay, now sometimes you might check out a movie, but you might think, hey, the movie is not historically. Accurate,、right. okay. It doesn't show、mm. history in the right way. Right, okay. And practice, 在这里呢，我们是当做名词来用哦，表示惯例啊，或是习惯的意思哦。Okay, so what about Mardi Gras today? Okay, well, historically, it was one way. Right. Today, Mardi Gras is more entertaining than religious. True. So even if you're not Christian, you can celebrate Mardi Gras. It's、mm. not necessarily about Lent anymore.、Uh-huh. So entertaining means it's something that's just for fun,、uh-huh. or it's for a good show. Yeah.、Mm, okay. I hope we're entertaining. Okay. I think so. So now, Mardi Gras is more entertaining than religious or non-religious festivals. This word of entertaining is a entertaining word that means to get enjoyment, to be enjoyed, to be enjoyed. Okay. So here we also see a grammar point, which is more a than b, or more like a than b, which is more a than b, or more like a than b, which is more a than b, or more like a than b. 不如说是 A， OK， 这样的句型其实本身就有比较的意思哦。所以在比较同一个人或事情的这个不同特质或身份的时候，我们就会用到 more A than B 来表达，就是 A 比较多 ，B 比较少。也就是与其说是 B， 不如说是 A， 或者是 A 更胜于 B。OK， 那不过要注意的是哦，这个句型当中 ，A 跟 B 的词性要一致哦。然后，如果 A、B 是形容词的情况之下，必须要用 more， 然后接形容词 than， 然后另外一个形容词，不能写成形容词接 er than 形容词。好，那刚刚课文的句子还记不记得？就是 Mardi Gras is more entertaining than religious. OK， 我们再来看一个例子哦。Mary is more clever than beautiful. 就是 Mary， 与、mm. 其说是美丽，不如说是聪明。Is that a compliment? OK， I don't think so. OK， 那像是呢，大家可能比较认识的，哎，宪哥吴宗宪啦。他虽然是歌手出身，可是你们知道，因为他因为主持风格太明显，我总觉得 he is。More 
a TV show host than a singer. So here I'm using the verb. Oh, is to say, although he hosts, is more famous, but he is actually a singer. Rather than saying he is a singer, he is more famous than saying he is a singer. If he hosts, he is also famous for singing. Okay, so in today's Mardi Gras, what do people do? In today's Mardi Gras, what do people do? Parade leaders toss colorful beads in gold, purple, and green—the wow. official colors of the festival. I remember getting these beads on Mardi Gras Ooh, sometimes. Wow. Yeah, Mardi Gras 的颜色是以黄色、绿色跟紫色所组成的。黄色是代表权力啦，绿色代表信仰，而紫色是代表正义哦。那这三个颜色来源其实有很多不同的传说跟迷思哦。而大部分的 New Orleans 的居民也都无法给确切正确的答案。Okay, so let's find out more. Yeah. So meanwhile, party clubs called crews hold expensive masked balls. Ooh, so you wear a mask and、uh -huh. you go to a party. Fancy. Yeah. Once a chance for people of different social classes to meet. Mm -hmm. Because if you're wearing a mask, then nobody、mm -hmm. knows if you're rich or poor. Right.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we have one more vocabulary word、mm -hmm. in here, and that is meanwhile. Meanwhile is an adverb that means at the same time as other things. While also means at the same time, but we can't use it by itself.、Mm. So we add mean, which is like the same, to the front and say this word by itself. Meanwhile, da 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 da.、Oh. Also, in the meantime has the same meaning as、okay. this, or around that time, or at the same time. Oh, yeah. But meanwhile is a nice one word that you can <laughs> use here. So here's an example. My entire family went to Hualien this weekend. Meanwhile. <gasps> I had to stay home and study for exams. Oh, oh what a bummer! I know.、Mm. Meanwhile, 这个副词就是在这个期间同时，你也可以用 um at the same time or um yeah. Okay, so during this time, right?、Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, you can set the table. Meanwhile, I'll start making dinner.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Or sometimes when you're cooking, cook the sauce over a medium heat until it thickens. Meanwhile, start boiling the water for the pasta. Okay, I'm getting hungry here. Yeah, I think Laura's、okay. got food on her mind. <laughs>、yeah. Okay, not class. 呢，在本课当中呢，注意哦，它是表示阶级，就是阶层。所以原来他们还要举办这种。感觉好像很高级的化妆舞会哦，但是因为你戴这个 mask， 戴这个面具，所以其实是让不同的阶级人士可以彼此认识，因为你根本就不知道面具后面的人是有钱人啊，还是普通的阶级。嗯哼 ，OK。Though its religious meaning may be fading, Mardi Gras continues to be the life and soul of the party.、Wow. Mm -hmm. So this is our PP go for the day, life and soul of the party. So let's go find out what it means. Pocket phrase go. Oh, 我亲爱的小怪兽们，你们好，你最爱的 Lady Kaka 来了。啊，大家呢看我舞台上穿着各式各样的名牌服饰，身边呢都是电影明星 pop star 啊，大家呢一定都以为我擅长社交，花蝴蝶来着。People always assume that I am the life and soul of the party， 但是呢，其实我本人私下很宅哦，就喜欢在家里弹弹琴、看看电影，好吗 ？The life and soul of the party。或是呢，你可以直接讲 the life of the party， 就是呢形容这个人很善社交哦，他呢就是 party 上的灵魂人物。比方说呢，像我有一个好朋友 Mary， Mary 呢，她最爱参加 party， 她去 party 的时候我很厉害，她每一个人都认识，每次出现的时候呢，大家都好喜欢跟她聊天哦。Mary is such an outgoing person that she is always the life of the party。哈、huh, ，你呢也是擅长社交的 party king 或是 party queen 吗？那么呢，你也是 the life and soul of the party 咯。Okay, so that's what life or life and soul of the party means. The person who brings the most fun and the most energy. Maybe they're kind of like a, a Chinese word, like kai xin guo. Oh, is that kai xin guo.、Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Mardi Gras is not a person, but maybe it's one of the most <gasps> fun parties you'll ever go to. Nice.、Yeah. Okay. So, 虽然原本的宗教意义似乎已经慢慢不见，可是 Mardi Gras 狂欢节呢，仍然持续是 the life and soul of the party. 大家有没有觉得这课文已经将这个 Mardi Gras 
Sarah 的节庆拟人化了，因为通常这个片语是指某一个人，他是社交活动的灵魂人物啦，或者是开心果啦，对不对？<笑> OK， 不过这里我们是用这样子的可爱的方式来形容 Mardi Gras。Well, we're running out of time. Let's now go to our for you chat. OK. For you chat. OK, so our for you chat question for today is, and I'm going to ask Laura. <gasps> If you had to give up one luxury thing for a month, what would you give up? Well, you did mention that I love shopping for clothes. I'm just、mm. gonna say buying clothes. Oh, okay. Do you think you can not buy clothes for a month? A month? I think I'll try to. That's actually a good way to save money as well. That's what true. What about you? I think I would give up social media, you know, like Facebook and Instagram and all that kind you of thing. You should, okay? Yeah. yeah, you should really cut down that time、mm -hmm. that you spend on social media. I think it would be a nice break. I know for、yeah. for a lot of kids out there, it might be video games.、Yeah. Could be, yeah, yeah. Video games are also another、yeah. thing. Okay, so you guys have a chat about this question. We're out of time. We'll、yeah. see you tomorrow, though. See you for day two. Bye. Bye. The sweet story behind Pancake Day. Every spring, something special happens in New Orleans, Louisiana, U.S. Quiet streets are brought to life by colorful parades, and the air turns sweet with the smell of freshly baked cakes. All the while, the city taps its feet to the rhythm of lively jazz music. This is one of the many celebrations of Mardi Gras, an energetic holiday with centuries of tradition. Mardi Gras, which translates as Fat Tuesday in English, is the last day before Lent, an important period for some Christians. For four weeks, it is traditional for people to give up their favorite luxuries to get closer to God. Historically. That meant Fat Tuesday was everyone's last chance to treat themselves before they began this strict religious practice. Today, Mardi Gras is more entertaining than religious. Parade leaders toss colorful beads in gold, purple, and green, the official colors of the festival. Meanwhile, party clubs called crews hold expensive mass balls. Once a chance for people of different social classes to meet. Though its religious meaning may be fading, Mardi Gras continues to be the life and soul of the party. Vocabulary review. Tap. Stephen tapped his friend on the shoulder to get his attention. Rhythm. I can hear the rhythm of the music my neighbors are listening to through the wall. Energetic. The energetic children didn't want to sit down and read books. Translate. Penny's mother translates books and magazines from Italian to English for work. Historically, the city of London has historically. Been an important part of the business world. Meanwhile, I'll chop the vegetables. Meanwhile, could you set the table? The program is produced by Huayong Cultural Media. Huayong Cultural Media magazine is available at all major bookstores. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。